Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being here, and welcome to my world. All right, in this video, I'm chilling at um, Paquez El Poblado, and I'm reminiscing about being in that area um, a couple of years ago. Yes, <laughs> it was kind of odd. I was sitting there, and I kept saying to myself, I know this area from somewhere. And that's actually the same area where I made my first video. <laughs> my very first video, I made it outside the church that's right across from the park, the San Jose Church. And um, I was meeting a tour bus there because I was going on my Comuno 13 bus. And it was just kind of real funny because um, I was now staying um, like a 15-minute walk from that same park area. All right. And um and what's also real funny was that right past the um church is Pacas Jerez. I would say about three plot three blocks, maybe about like three blocks away behind the church is Pacas Jerez. And um about four blocks behind um Pacas El Poblado, where I'm sitting at, you would um uh, you would go and run into um what's that restaurant owned by that brother? Um Sweet George's. Sweet Georgia Cafe. So Sweet Georgia Cafe will is actually located about like in this video, about like four blocks behind me. And in this video, Pacas Jerez is about like maybe two and a half, three blocks in front of me in this video. Okay, guys, so I'm just reminiscing. Remembering how I made my first video down there. And um, I'm also talking about and trying to decide how I'm going to juggle these two young ladies that I was supposed to meet um, that day. Okay, guys, so let's get started with this video. Hey, guys, this is like so funny because um, where I'm sitting at right now, it's like where I had to meet tour guides to go on my um, trip to um, Comundo 13 and I actually had to meet them over at this uh, church which is like right across the street here. Let me show you. It's right over there. And um, I remember it like it was yesterday. It's like, it's like so weird. <laughs> And the funny thing is that um, I had to take a cab, and that's when I was staying at um, the La Quinta um, Hotel by Wenham Hotel in, uh, in El Poblado. I had to take a cab down here to go take the Camundo 13 tour. And now I'm actually staying at a hotel, which is like um, 15 minutes away from here. <laughs> So that's like really, really hard. That's really, really hard and stuff. And um, right now at this point, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today. I was going to go um, back downtown. And um, and yeah, guys, so the weather's been better. So the past two weeks that I've been here, it's been gloomy and rainy like most of the days, like all day long. And so the weather's just started getting really nice. Um, just past, I think it was Friday or Saturday. And today it's in the 80s, it's like really beautiful. And I was supposed to go meet, there was a couple of ladies that I was gonna meet. I was gonna meet my friend from the mall and stuff today, but I decided not to, and it was another really nice one that I wanted to meet. And um, she had problems with her phone. And then when I went to uh, Columbia Cupid, she had sent me a message and she wanted to meet with me. She keeps telling me that her phone's working and I keep sending messages and I'm not hearing anything from her. This young lady is bad and stuff. And um, she actually has like three children, but they're all big and stuff. And um, I already told her I, I wasn't, I was looking for friends and stuff, but um, I think the first time I actually spoke to her on Columbia Cupid, no, actually we exchanged numbers and we talked for um, on WhatsApp for 
about maybe four hours or something, we really get along. But um, she's she's been through a lot with the men here in Colombia, and um, I don't want any drama. But um, you know, we'll see what happens. It's always good to uh, have friends and stuff too. And another odd thing was when I was on Columbia Cupid, I ran into a young lady I was talking to maybe like a year and a half ago. She lives in Catahana. And, um, and so, you know, we're, we're, we're talking. I'm trying to keep it as friends and stuff. But she was making jokes and stuff like, oh, I thought you was married and stuff. And she's like, oh, so why do you want to talk to me? I'm like, oh, because I got a son. I was like, no, nah, it's not it's nothing personal. It's just that I'm older now and I... I would like to have somebody that doesn't have any kids or have grown kids and stuff, right? So um, I know she's still taking it kind of personal, and um, she actually got on my case the other day when we were talking because I went out with a 25-year-old, 20, and, um, and she's 28. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's not 28, she's 38, and she's a beautiful um, Afro-Columbian, very beautiful. But she's the type that's like, a homebody, and um, I was married to two, two homebodies, and I'm, I'm definitely not trying to find another homebody, and I'm um, definitely not trying to make anyone um, tie me down right away and stuff, because she's beautiful, she is beautiful, very beautiful, I love her eyes, I, I, I love everything about her, but uh, nah, I want to keep it as friends and stuff. Um, and, and recently, um, had seen, I didn't know if I was going to tell this story, but I was hanging down um, El Poblado. I'm sorry, El Poblado. No, I was hanging down um, Paquez Jerez. I was hanging down Paquez Jerez, uh, what was it, Friday? And I'm going to show you a picture of this uh, really, really bad um, Colombian. I mean, like, hot, man. <laughs> when I seen these pictures, I'm like, yo, man, somebody must be, uh, these can't be real, they gotta be fake. And uh, she gave me her number, um, I talked to her, um, tried to get her on WhatsApp, and she rejected my phone call, and then she said, um, she apologized to me and said, you know what, um, I'm actually in Colombia, so when I get back to Medellin, we can meet. And so... This lady is gorgeous, very gorgeous. So I'm like, like yo, why, why are you single? <laughs> and she said something that really turned me off and stuff. She says, well, I demand to have a man that can take care of me in every way, financially in every way. Uh, because I'm doing well and any man that's seeing me, he's, he's, he's definitely gonna be doing well. Which I understand, but just the way she said it um, kind of turned me off. And then she had sent me a picture of her. Um, and she had this she had a great body, but she had this big, giant tattoo on her leg. And it just turned me off. Tattoos turned me off. So that kind of like shut me down. And uh, I kind of blocked her and stuff after that because I'm not into tattoos. Uh, and um, the funny thing is, is that this Friday, it wasn't, yeah, I'm really sure it was Friday. And that was like, um, like two weeks ago when I, when I spoke to her. And I, saw, I didn't bother to talk to her anymore. And um, so I was in Podcast Jared, just hanging out. And I see this gorgeous, gorgeous babe walking with a couple of people. And um, she kind of like looked at me and I looked at her. She looked at me, I looked at her, I'm like, I'm like, damn, who's that? And so she just kept walking, and I'm thinking, I know her from somewhere. And um, so she's walking with her friends, and she turns, and she looks back at me again. And then I see this guy, she was dressed nice too. Then this guy comes over and calls her, and she goes over to this guy, she gives her a hug. And then when I looked at her leg and I saw that tattoo on her leg, I was like, oh man, that's the chick. That's the chick I was trying to um, get a date with and stuff. Yeah, she's real. And I'm gonna try to show you you guys some of her pictures that's on Call Me A Cupid. Yeah. 
it's a it's built, I mean really built in all the right places. But like what's messed up about her is that um she has like a lot of lot of tattoos which is messed up. All like on her front leg, which is really messed up. And um I don't think she should have uh done it and stuff. And um, I would have pursued her. I don't know if I <laughs> have the kind of finances that she's looking for, but she she's bad. Wait till you guys see these pictures of her. All right, guys. So um, so right now I'm just chilling at this spot. I don't know what it's called. Let me see if I can show you guys a picture of this little park and stuff. And it's actually maybe about 10 minutes away from Parkins Jarrett's. Poblado, C I one Poblado. In the park area. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do now, I don't. I'm gonna just. It's still like I think about like eleven something. We're gonna wait and. See if I can contact um, Maria and stuff, you know, because she's really good people and stuff. And um, I would like to hang out with her before I go and stuff, you know. So, talk to you later, guys. Peace.